There are three types of feeling, pleasant feeling, <coughs> painful feeling, neither painful nor pleasant feeling. There are three. Hmm? So, how about that thought? The tension, big way, big ဝရနာစုဝရနာနုပ္ပဆီဝိဟရဒီဗိခုဟောဧဗိခုအဘိုက်ကုန်တင်ပလေတိဗိလေစ်အစ်ဖိလေဤဂဗိခုဗိခု
First, you must try to design four elements throughout the body. Hmm? If you design four elements throughout the body systematically, when you are concentrating develops further, you can see small particles or color bars. In this area, there are also many, many, many uncountable color bars, hmm? numerous color bars. Among these color bars, there is body transparent element or body jacket color bars. These color bars, if you analyze each color bar, there are 10 types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, light fragility, and body transparent sensitivity or body transparent element. This is transparent because like glass, it is it is transparent. So because of this reason, both that this is transparent sensitivity, body sensitivity or body transparent element. First, you should try this space. If you can design this space, hmm, there are numerous these clumps. Hmm? So if you analyze these clumps, you can see this space. First, you must design this space. Then secondly, you should design object. Why painful feeling here? There are tangible objects. Tangible objects are three. Art element, fire <coughs> element, wet element. Now, please try to touch. You can feel hardness, roughness, heaviness, or softness, smoothness, lightness. This is art element. You can feel heat or coldness. This is fire element. You can feel pushing and supporting. This is one element. These three elements are tangible objects. But flowing and cohesion you cannot feel by touching. Because they are not the object of touching or touching consciousness. They are the object of mind consciousness. So you cannot feel cohesion and flowing. But these three objects are tangible objects. Among these three, one element may be in excess. For example, hardness may be in excess. Or heat may be in excess. Or pushing may be very strong. If you carefully descend, then you can see this strong, powerful element. When that element gets to the body sensitivity, body base, or body transparent element. Then, because of this impingement, painful feeling appear. Here, here. But if you do not understand, here are the materialities and cannot design calabas. Uh, or cannot analyze calabas and cannot see ultimate materiality. In the same way, if you cannot design the object, if there are a group, a group of small body gas, among these body gas, maybe art element may be very strong and excess. When it's impinged to that body transparent element, at the time, painful feeling may appear. Or because of heat, painful feeling may be. Or because of pushing, painful feeling may be. These three. So this object also you cannot design. This also you cannot design. Mm. If you contemplate feeling as feeling, this is just superficial. This is one reason. Another reason is <coughs> when you are contemplating feeling, you should not contemplate only feeling. Feeling alone cannot arise. Feeling arise with associated mental formations together. So, when you are paying attention in this area, according to Abhidhamma, hmm? Sisila Sisila explain body to cognitive process. In body to cognitive process, number one, Pido advancing consciousness. 
Number two, body consciousness. Number three, receiving consciousness. Number four, investigating consciousness. Number five, decision, deci- decision consciousness. Deceiving, huh? deciding consciousness. Number six, from Abdu, body. Huh? This is uh, Abdu, this is huh? seven embarrassing my movement. Seven embarrassing, after they are, after seven embarrassing, join up my movements. Then there may be two rigid starring my movements. So, according to this series, they are always rising. They do not jump from one to another. Uh, this is Chita Niyama, the law of consciousness. They never change this series. So, if you want to do some painful feeling, then you should try uh, this series first. This is number one. In each mind moment, there are different associated mental formations, especially number one, I do advise consciousness in my movement. There are 11 types of mental patterns. In body consciousness my movement, there are at least eight types, there are eight types of mental mm-hmm. patterns. Number one, body consciousness. Number two, contact. Number three, Virna feeling. Number four, Senya perception. Number five, volition, Kirna volition. Number six, Egagada, one pointedness. Number seven, Life faculty, life faculty. Number eight, Manasi Gara. Attention. All together, there are eight types of mental factors. Among these eight types, there is feeling first, Vedana. That Vedana is painful feeling. That painful feeling always arises together with associated mental formations. But only one my moment, this is painful feeling. Then, I do a divine consciousness my moment preceding. Uh, bo- body consciousness, my moment. There is only neutral feeling, neither painful nor pleasant feeling. After body consciousness, my moment, there is receiving my moment. And then receiving my moment, there is always neutral feeling. And there, after that, they are maybe investigating my moment. That investigating my moment, there is sometimes neutral feeling, sometimes pleasant happiness feeling. And the second decision, consciousness in my moment. There is always neutral feeling. And embarrassing my moment, depending on right addition, ionism, manasigar, or unwise addition, ionism, manasigar, there may be wholesome jonas or unwholesome jonas. If they are wholesome jonas, there may be happy, pleasant feeling or <coughs> neutral feeling only. So, painful feeling is only one mind moment. <laughs> Not every mind moment, according to the, uh, allow this cognitive process, throughout this cognitive process. So, if you want to understand only painful feeling, it is not enough. If you understand only painful mind moment alone, it is not enough. Not enough means no pain, pain. <laughs> you are learning in this way the whole sitting. Then you are going to understand only painful feeling only. No associated mental formations. No other feelings. Happy feelings or neutral feelings. You will not understand. So this is not enough. So because of this reason, if you want to contemplate feeling, number one, you must already have been this ultimate materiality. Number two, you must this ultimate materiality thoroughly. According to the sex to community process, other than only when really here painful feeling appear in your pattern. Other than that, only you will understand in this area there is only ultimate materiality 
and ultimate mentality. Because of the impingement of base and object, painful feeling arises. At that time, you will understand. So, if you understand in this way, you can search for there. There, who is feeling? Who feels? There is no one who feels. There are only ultimate mentality and materiality. Who is feeling? Not of any being or not any person, because because of the impingement of base and object feeling rise. So if you understand in this way, you can understand only ultimate materiality and mentality. There is no one who feels. There is no person who feels. There is no father. There is no mother. There is no I. There is no he. There is no she. Who feels this feeling? Only ultimate mentality and materiality. This is one. Another is if you can see ultimate mentality and materiality parallel, they are as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. And then you will not see your photo. <laughs> there is no photo. <laughs> only ultimate mentality and materiality. There is no place. Huh? Feeling, depending on that place, feeling is rising. You can see only ultimate materiality and mentality. Because of the impingement of base and object. Here in this case, base is body, base. Object is maybe tangible objects. Uh, element, fire element, and wet element. Because of these two, the impingement of these two, painful feeling arise together according to cognitive process, together with associated mental formation. If you understand in this way, then we can say, when experiencing painful feeling, he understands, I am experiencing painful feeling. Mm -hmm. At that only you can understand this. In the same way, when you are feeling pleasant feeling, you will understand you are experiencing pleasant feeling. How you should try to understand? For example, no, there are many meditators who can see Anapana Prifaka Himeda. <laughs> this is the Dhamma object. This object is called Dhamma. Hmm? There are six types of objects. Kala, Uda, Flavor, uh, Kada, Saw, Smell, Taste, Tangible Object, and Dhamma Object. Among six objects, this Anabana Vribhaga Nimita is called Dhamma Object, one type of Dhamma. Hmm? So, if you can concentrate thoroughly on the Nimita, <coughs> When full absorption may rise, hmm? when full absorption rise, if you can maintain this full absorption up to one hour, two hours, etc., then you may feel very, very gentle, pleasant feeling. Okay? Who feels? <laughs> this is problem. Hmm? <laughs> if you want to discern this pleasant feeling, if you want to contemplate this pleasant feeling, number one, you must get uh, four elements hmm? systematically. If you practice four elements meditation systematically, you can see your body is composed with small particles, calabas. If you analyze these calabas, you can see ultimate materiality. Hmm? So this is your body. Then <coughs> At that day, if you had been practiced hmm? Anamana Jana up to Pope Jana, hmm? while you are discerning Jana feathers, you can already discern mind of you. Going up mind of you already see. Hmm? So, this is an important point. The another is the Animeda, Anabana Bhivaga Animeda. When Anabana Bhivaga Animeda appear in your mind, not in basement. 
Abhiya only. Eh? Abhiya in your mind, then you can do some function of fetters. Really. Because of this reason, both are space. Eh? Manecha, patecha, tamecha, opecha, di mano vinyana. Mana, this is my door. Depending on mana in object, object is anabana vinyana vinyana. Depending on my door in object, my consciousness arises together with five china petas. So you can clearly see this is because of the impeachment or because of the uh, meeting of these two objects. Hmm? Your mind is a dhamma object. Because of the meeting of these two objects, five chandra feathers, clearly you can see. If you can take some five chandra feathers, clearly in five chandra, there are only four metal feathers. Hmm? You have, hmm? Maybe Sister Sujila already cal calculated. Hmm? Among these 34, there is feeling. That feeling is so many <coughs> happy feeling, pleasant feeling. But that pleasant feeling arises not alone. It arises together with associated mental formations. <coughs> How many mental formations? In fact, Jana, there are 34 mental formations together with happy feeling or pleasant feeling. So, if you get this and this ultimate mentality, then again you must get this ultimate materiality, especially heart base. Hmm? The way they heart base, this jhana dhammas arise in the place of Poenga. When jhana dhammas are rising and passing away successfully for one hour, two hour, and then the Poenga mystery stops. When you emerge from jhana, and then the Poenga mystery appears again. So, to understand to this, uh, this jhana dhammas, huh? 34 jhana dhammas, you should try to discern heart face also. The heart face arises as heart taking kalamba, taking kalamba, not alone. In that small body, the heart taking kalamba, if you analyze it, eh, you can see 10 types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive acid, and light fragility and heart rates. All together, 10 materialities. 10 types of materialities. <coughs> you should try to design these 10 types of materialities also. And then you should emphasize heart rates. Then again, please try to enter into Fajana again, taking Anabana Vibhaga Nimeda as object. Imagine from Fajana, you should try to discern this, maybe emphasizing feeling. Because now you are trying to contemplate feeling. So that there is happy feeling. That happy feeling is in Jana, my moment. In excess concentration, my moment. So according to the cognitive process, number one is mind and body and consciousness, my moment. There are 12 mental factors. Among 12, feeling is neutral feeling only. Then there may be pre gamma preliminary concentration, ubichara nivahu concentration, anuloma deputy melody concentration, kudrabu <coughs> tadi lineage of wadali concentration. They only jana my moments. Such as when you pour in a long time, they will arise and pass away. So in these my moments, all are associated with happy, pleasant feeling. But this pleasant feeling is always associated with associated mental factors. Altogether, there are 34, 34, 34, 34, 34, many times for a long time they are rising, passing away. <coughs> if you can discern in this way, other than that only, we can say you, you understand painful feeling, uh, pleasant feeling as pleasant feeling. But when you are discerning painful feeling or pleasant feeling, in some my moments, there is neutral feeling also. Neither painful nor pleasant feeling. So, other than only, we can say, you understand feeling. So, because of this reason, important <coughs> when a painful experience, when experiencing a pleasant feeling, he understands 
I'm experiencing pleasantly. When experiencing painful feeling, I understand I'm experiencing pleasant feeling. When experiencing neither painful nor pleasant feeling, he understands I'm experiencing neither painful nor pleasant feeling. So in this way we can say it. But when you are contemplating this feeling, if you see the place, oh my shoulder is very painful, my back pain is very painful, my buttock is very painful. In this way, if you understand, then we can say you are not discerning ultimate mentality and eh? materiality. Just superficially you are discerning, you are feeling only. So if you want to discern ultimate mentality, materiality clearly, then as a day, you, you should try emphasizing feeling. Feeling, 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 feeling in every moment. <coughs> if you get this feeling in every moment, then you should try to increase another one. For example, consciousness. Consciousness, feeling, feeling, to do. In consciousness, faster contact, three, three, three. Consciousness, faster uh, within a feeling, three, three. Then consciousness, faster within a senior perception, four, four, four. In this way, slowly you must try in every to this and every my moment. Slowly increase one by one, up to 34. And then that only you will understand ultimate materiality, ultimate materiality only. But this is not enough. After that, after this and ultimate materiality, ultimate materiality, you must try again this and their causes. At the end, you must try to understand dependent origination. After that only, you must contemplate this ultimate mentality and material and their causes as any chattuka anatta. Ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality and their causes are called formations sankharas. These sankhara formations you must contemplate as any chattuka anatta. Sabe, sankhara, anicca. All formations are anicca impermanent. Everything is impermanent. Sabe, Sankara, Dukkha, all formations are Dukkha. What is Dukkha? <laughs> this Dukkha is very wide meaning. I want to explain a little bit more. Do is maybe repassive, but you do not like repassive. <laughs> but Buddha <laughs> says, do is repassive. Kokshika, hmm? repassive. Ka is space. Space means here in this case, very wide meaning. <coughs> very wide meaning means in this case, full of uh, whiteness. Whiteness means, yeah, if you pay attention to ultimate materiality, as long as they rise, they pass away, they change to whiteness. If space, if you touch, can you touch space? No, whiteness, there's nothing. In the same way, they are in this argument, mentality, mentality, there's nothing. They are reversible only. There's nothing means there's no permanent nature. There's no happiness, sukha. There's no beauty, sukha. There is no self other. They are whiteness, void of nature, void of sukha, void of sukha, void of other. They are nothing. So as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are repassive. Because of this reason, Buddha gave this name, Dukkha. Another meaning is, always they are oppressed by rising and passing away. Because of this reason, they are Dukkha. Maybe now you are, now there are some meditators who are entering into jhana. When they are entering into jhana, they feel happiness. Sukha. But this Sukha also Buddha says Dukkha. Why? <laughs> Only uh, standing face, this is Sukha. After that, they perish away. It began Dukkha. So, even Jana Dhammas also Buddha gave Dukkha. Why? They are also always oppressed by rising and passing away. 
Very long that you can maintain your jhana concentration for one hour, two hour. But if you can see ultimate materiality within this one hour, two hour, they are successfully rising and passing away many times. So if they are, as soon as they arise, they pass away quickly. Then we say this is sukha. We cannot say let it disappear. We want to say let it disappear. We want to say it disappear. <laughs> Not standing for a long time. Not existing for a long time. So because of this reason, Janathamas also in other words, they are sukha. It is true. But only existing place, they are sukha. When they perish away, they are beginning to come. So because of this reason, <coughs> You must contemplate them as nature, as well as Toka. And then there is no permanent entity, no permanent substance in them. So they are another. So to understand clearly this meaning, commentary mentions one story. Chintala <coughs> Babada. Chintala <coughs> Babada monastery is in Sri Lanka, very famous monastery in ancient times. They are more than 20,000 arahas stay one time there. <coughs> so many caves now still there. Let's have caves, now artificial caves. More than 100 caves are there still now. So they are dwelling in these caves. Among these caves, there is one Mahathira. Mahathira is al Jati God. Hmm? One day he, <coughs> he was sick. Because of stomach problem, <laughs> family problem, oh, many problems, and maybe weight element is attacking him inside too much. So he cannot, he cannot, uh, he cannot sit for a long time and he sleep. While he is sleeping, both shot. Weight is attacking too much, so he is. Uh, turn it from one side to another, eh? Crow, 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 So, at the end, there is one, at the end, a small young peku. Young peku will ask, where, where is, you are feeling, in which place, painful feeling? In which place, you are feeling painful feeling? Mahathira replied, there is no specially painful feeling, no specific place. This is very important. When you are contemplating feeling, if you see place, this is only just superficial <laughs> because you cannot penetrate ultimate materiality. That Mahatma says there is no specific, specially painful feeling. Why is this painful feeling arise? Oh, because of the impingement of base and object. I am taking some type of object. Owing to taking some object, because of this object, we impinge the base. Painful feeling is arising. In this way, he explained. There is no specific place where painful feeling arising. If you understand in this way, you should endure. <laughs> endure is very, very good. Yes, yes, I will endure. So in this way, so Mahathira trying to endure his sick. Hmm? Then Satram Prabhu went attack his and his bomber and caused injury up to, right up to heart. Many intestines coming up from his bomber. Hmm? Protruded out. Mm -hmm. Protruded out and lay in a heat on the bed. So at the day, Mahathira asked, Is it enough? And you are So young Peku cannot say anything. At the day, he tried hard with us now. Because that Mahathira is, he stayed in. Chitala Pavada Monastery more than 20 years practicing Samatha Vipassana Barali. Abdul Sankarubaka Yana stage. Then, before he, is, he was sick, 
at the day, he must throw effort to hear this and to endure this sickness. At the day, with effort, energy is in excess. So because of this reason, concentration cannot concentrate well because energy is in excess. So when the intestines hmm, protract up, at the day, painful feeling becomes less. And then at the day, effort also slowly less. At the day, effort, energy, and very uh, uh, somatic concentration became balanced. At the day, he takes up ultimate mentality, materiality, and their causes as nature to another. And then begin Raha with four types of analytic knowledge. But it's Samvira. So for those who have been attained Raha with four types of analytic knowledge, they had to be practiced this Samatha Vipassana in previous Buddha's dispensation last night and I had explained. They must fulfill five factors. Among these five factors, hmm, Pupa Yoga. Pupa Yoga means in previous Buddha's dispensation, they had already practiced Samatha Vipassana and Abdu Sankarupaka Yana's case. The knowledge of equanimity towards formations. So, in previous Buddha dispensation, they had been practiced Samatha Vipassana up to Sankarupaka, the knowledge of equanimity to too much formations. <coughs> in this life also, in, la in his last life also, he practiced Samatha Vipassana many times up to Sankarupaka in the United States. He practiced 20 years, more than 20 years. So, because of this reason, he always going from first inside knowledge of the Sankarupaka in the United States, many times. But his insight is not yet mature. Because of this reason, he cannot attain hardship. But on the day, his inside knowledge becomes mature. So he quickly attain hardship. So if you want to contemplate feeling, you should emulate this example. <laughs> <laughs> This example means my meaning is you must try to understand ultimate materiality. This is one. Secondly, you mm. must try to understand ultimate mentality. At the time only, you can understand feeling as feeling clearly. Because feeling cannot arise lonely. Feeling always arises with associated mental formations. This one reason. Another reason is feeling arises according to cognitive process only. Without cognitive process, such type of feeling cannot arise. This is one reason. Another reason is because of the impingement of base and object, feeling arise. So you should try to understand base. You should try to understand object. Without understanding base and object, if you discern feeling, then it will be only just superficial. Without discerning associated mental formations <coughs> with and feeling, then this will be only just superficial. So because of this reason, if you want to understand or to contemplate feeling, then first you must try to discern ultimate mentality. Secondly, you should discern ultimate mentality, but this is not enough. Then you must contemplate their causes. You should try to discern their causes. And then you must contemplate them as nature, toka, and another system medically. At that time, you will realize feeling as feeling. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Any question? <laughs> Any question? <laughs> I have a pain in my back, but I didn't know it was so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no question? <laughs> how, how about um, emotional feelings? Like, a most pleasant emotional feeling, painful emotional feeling. Is it the same process? Same process. <coughs> same process, but if you want to understand the number one important thing is concentration. Because concentrated mind can understand the devas as they really are. Without concentration, if you penetrate your body, you cannot see small body get. You, if, although you may see small body gas, but you cannot analyze them. 
Because some meditators, according to their own way of practice, they, when they are practicing, occasionally they see these small particles, calabas, but they cannot analyze because they do not understand how to discern four elements. Because they do not practice four elements meditation systematically. Because of this reason, when they see small particles, they do not understand ultimate materiality. They cannot discern ultimate materiality. So, at the time, because of the, uh, secondly, you must discern object, which produce emotional feeling. So, because of the impingement of this object, this emotional feeling has. Maybe it popular passage, Chakong, Chakpadeja, Rubeja, Obejadi, Chakuwinyana, etc. in this way put that talk. Tina Sengadi, Pasong, Pasabeja, Wirana, etc. in this way put that talk. Because of the, the impingement of embrace in color object, then mind consciousness arises. The meeting of these three, meeting of these three means I'm based, color object, I'm consciousness. Because of meeting of these three, contact fasa arise. Because of fasa, feeling arise. <laughs> so if you want to do some feeling, then according to this system, you must try. In the same way, uh, yeah, so then jap, but they jap, so Number one is here, ear transparent element. Number two, sound object. When sound object impinge in that ear transparent element, uh, so that when you know, ear consciousness rise. Because of the meeting of these three fasa content rise. Because of fasa there is maybe pleasant or unpleasant feeling rise, emotional or unemotional. Huh? Right. So, because of this reason, number one, race is important to discern. Number two, object is very important to discern. Without understanding these two, if you contemplate feeling, then you will understand only just superficial. You cannot understand associated mental formations. Okay. Venerable Sir, the Atta or the Self is not real. But are cheetahs and kalabas real? Ultimate materiality and mentality? Say that. Are, are cheetahs and kalabas real? The atta, not real. Maybe say that. Do you know say that for chestnuts? Yeah. Cheetahs and kalabas. Yes. We do not say kalabas are real, but we say only in each kalabas there are ultimate materialities, they are real. But that real means impermanent real, not permanent real. <laughs> yes. There are two types of reality. Impermanent reality and permanent reality. Permanent reality is only nirvana. Chaita consciousness, Chidisika mental fathers, Ruba materiality. These three are reality. When they are reality, when they rise at the day, reality for four perishing states. From rising states to perishing states, at the end they are reality. But as soon as they rise, they pass away. So they are impermanent. So they are impermanent reality, dukkha reality, another reality, not other reality. <laughs> then why are they arising and where are they arising from? Please try to see here. Why? Then they start saying. Mentality. <laughs> my, my, this is cause. Huh? In the same way, there are four types for robot materiality. Because of this reason, you must practice dependent origination to understand this main fundamental cause. For materiality, there are four causes. There are karma from materiality. <coughs> Mind form, materiality, temperature form, materiality, nutritive acid form, materiality. Oh, mind produce, karma produce, <coughs> materiality, mind produce, materiality, temperature produce, materiality, and then nutritive acid produce, materiality. There are four causes. If there is karma instead, karma produce, materiality, 
Ulibli Brazil. When they, after arising, when they perish very quickly. And one song that Buddha taught, Rubam Bekwe Anisha. Bekwe's Ruba is Anisha. Yobi Hedu Yobi Bicha Ruba Sa Uba Daya Sobi Anisha. There is cause and condition to arise Ruba. This cause and condition also Anisha and Bamini. How <coughs> Ruba can be Bamini? Really, it is also in Bamini. Because Kama, you understand. Kama, what is Kama? Main factor is Purishan Chirna. In previous year, you had been accumulated Chirna. That Chirna, as soon as they rise, they pass away. They are in Bamini. If cause is in Bamini, because of this cause, there comes a effect. How that effect can be Bamini? Cannot be a Bamini. So, because of cause is nature. Attack also began nature. As soon as they rest, they pass away very, very quickly. In the same way, for mind, there are also different causes. Main fundamental cause is for resultant consciousness, is previous karma. That karma is based on ignorance, craving, and clinging. You accumulate this karma based on ignorance, craving, and clinging. This karma also a nature. As soon as they rise, they pass away. They are a nature. But they left behind the energy or the karmic force. What is karmic force? But if you really penetrate this karmic force, then you will understand clearly. But now, by imagination, you may understand. I will explain. Now have you anger? No, 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 you, no anger. But if someone attacks to you, then anger may arise. So we can say you have still anger. But that anger is not present. When there is any opportunity to arise, then anger will arise. Then if it is so, we can say, oh, you have your anger as a latent tendency following to your mentality, materiality process. We can say. In the same way, coming post also nearly the same. Whenever it will be get and it will get any opportunity, it will produce a discussion. When it is become mature. But when it cannot get any opportunity, it cannot produce any result. What is opportunity? There are many, many opportunities. Now you may accumulate many wholesome tomas as well as many unwholesome tomas. In this very life or in previous life, they are following after you like two arrows. <laughs> Whenever they get any opportunity, they will produce a discussion. But when you begin Sondrapana, you are part, huh? you, you are part knowledge will destroy the all the phenomena which can be produced to reborn in all four states. So among these uh, wholesome tamas, which can produce to be reborn in all four states, you have got knowledge already, that's fine. So karma finish at that time. So karma cannot produce any more result in four all four states. If you begin skadagami, you may have any opportunity to come back to human one once only. If you begin anagami, then you are anagami part knowledge will just try completely all a wholesome demands and wholesome demands which can produce to be reborn in sensual brain, including the wawa. You are wholesome and a wholesome demands cannot produce any chance. Any there is no opportunity to produce their answer to be reborn in this human world or the wawa or in poor hopeful states. But when you begin Rahampat knowledge, your Rahampat knowledge will satisfy all defilements. Because there is no defilements, all Hoson Kamas and Ahoson Kamas cannot produce anymore. They, they cannot get any opportunities. So when they get opportunity, they can produce. But when they get no opportunity, they cannot produce. All Kamas are the same like that. So because of this reason, many People usually 
in round of reflex, because of ignorance or because of craving or because of clinging, they may accumulate wholesome or unwholesome demands, many. They are always following. But if they get opportunity, they can produce a discussion. They are all reserved. But if they no get, cannot get any opportunity, they will not produce any reserve. Where would you place light and sound? Light? Is it a rupa or where? Light is you now, when you are practicing Samadha Vipassana, the light is up here. This is also rupa. But that rupa is very subtle. It's not mentioned in the Kalapas. Light. Mentioned in Kalapas. But this is very subtle. When you are descending, when you are contemplating Adhimya, uh, Medalati, Mariyati, and the causes as any kind of matter, one day you may reach Uriya via Nyana state, rising and falling inside knowledge state. At the day, such a more when you are inside Giga, Mejua, and Mejua, then such a powerful light will appear. At the day, some meditators think, oh, now I may attain. But in closing knowledge. So because of this reason, at the time, light is very strong. Who does Uriya Vyanyana light spread up to 10,000 walls saga? Very, very powerful. But for many, many leaders, at the time also their light is very strong. <coughs> at the time, they should pay attention to four elements in that light. They can see the light is nothing but a group of small body gas. If they analyze these small body gas, in each club there are eight types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence. External light is temperature produced materiality. Internet is both my produced materiality as well as temperature produced materiality. So they are clubbers. Then, in the same way, here you should try to discern eye transparent sensitivity. Yes. You, if you want to discern sound, you should pay attention to that sound, four elements. You can see sound is nothing but a group of four elements. If you concentrate, then you can see color bars, very subtle color bars. These color bars, if you analyze, they are at least nine types of material. Uh, element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, water, flavor, nutritive acid, and sound. That sound is impinging to each other. In one club, there is an element. In another club, there is also an art element. They are very, very closely rising and passing very quickly. So because of impingement of these two art elements, sound arise. So this sound is up to this impinge. But whether they impinge or not, this is no important. You can take far away sound. Number two, Hashchana. Number three, Nibbana. Number four, Vipassana inside. Number five, all Hosantama. There are five, Nikama, Sita, Vedana. What is sensual feeling, sensual pleasant feeling? While they are enjoying taking color as object, or song as object, or smell, taste, or tangible object, or my object. At that time also, based on unwise attention, sensual pleasant feeling, or sensual unpleasant feeling, painful feeling, or sensual Neither painful nor pleasant feeling arise. For example, even in France, hmm? lying on their back, know that they are experiencing pleasure feeling in sucking their mother's breast. But such type of knowledge 
किन किस आप दी परसेप्शन ऑफ बी और दी परसेप्शन ऑफ सेल किन अब अब रू दी परसेप्शन ऑफ बी इन ए परसेप्शन इट किन अब किस आप दी बिलीफ इन सेल इट इट किन बी दी कर्दी बेसिन ऑफ मेडिटेशन it cannot be the meditation subject it cannot be cultivation of foundation of mindfulness satipatthana bhavana why their perception is kind of case of the belief in a being or in self they may think this is my mother or this is my father etc they do not understand ultimate mentality ultimate mentality and their causes and they do not understand the nature dukkha and the nature of these formations they only understand this is my mother this is my father etc in the same way in similar occasions if a meditator understand this is i this is he this is she this is father this is mother this is son this is daughter etc when such type of knowledge also you know gets out the belief in self it can approach the perception of being or person it is no meditation subject it is no it can you know, begins the cultivation of foundation of satipatthana mindfulness it can you know, be satipatthana bhavana so when you are practicing meditation subject especially with vipassana you should first try to understand ultimate mentality ultimate materiality and they are causes after that you must contemplate these formations as nature took another at the day only such type of knowledge can be fixed or they believe in self because as long as they, these formations when you uh when you investigate these formations in these formations there is no self why as soon as they arise they pass away very very quickly there is no permanent substance permanent entity in these formations so if you can contemplate the, these formations as nature to cut another then belief in self can case up this insight knowledge can case up the belief in self this inside knowledge approaches the perception of being when the other guy he see only ultimate mentality ultimate mentality and they are causes they are always successfully rising and passing away there is no permanent entity there is no person there is no father there is no mother there is no daughter there is no son etc so if other than that only you are practicing meditation subject you are inside knowledge can be meditation subject it begins the cultivation of the foundation of mindfulness satipatthana bhavana you are practicing satipatthana bhavana <coughs> so for ordinary person who do not understand ultimate mentality materiality and ultimate mentality and their causes as a nature to the another there will be always perception of pain if they enjoy any sensual object there will be sensual pleasant feeling or sensual painful feeling or sensual neither painful nor <coughs> pleasant feeling only because they do not understand ultimate mentality ultimate mentality and their causes but in other 
the other gates. Medi did a beku understand Adimit mentality, Adimit materiality. And they are causes. He understand these formations are as soon as they rise, they pass away, so they are nature. They are always oppressed by rising, passing away, so they are dukkha. There is no permanent substance, permanent entity, so they are not that themselves. If we understand in this way, we can say that he, that Madhidida Bhikkhu is experiencing non-sensual pleasant feeling or non-sensual painful feeling or no sensual, sensual, neither painful nor pleasant feeling. So because of this reason, such a type of understanding is called renunciation. So I will explain five, five, uh, five types of renunciation again. Hmm? Number one is going forth. Going forth is also renunciation. Why? If you ordain as a bhikkhu or bhikkhuni, you can escape from the householder's life. Is it true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. If you ordain very quickly, it will be very good. This is your practicing renunciation. <laughs> mm. So, this also, at that day, <coughs> how pleasant feeling appear. When you begin Bhikkhu or Bhikkhuni at that time, sometimes you may reflect your Bhaju, Sila. When you see purification of your Bhaju at that time, happiness will arise in you. This happiness is non-sensual, pleasant feeling. But sometimes when you are reflecting your Bhaju, there may be, you may see some faults, hmm? some uh, commitments. Hmm? And then uh, you may feel a happiness. This unhappy feeling is non-sensual, painful feeling. Because you are you reflecting your virtue, you are sila only. So that's when you are reflecting your virtue, you may feel neither painful nor pleasant feeling, only just neutral feeling. Because you do not see any fault in your virtue. So because of this reason, sometimes there may be neither painful nor pleasant feeling. These three types of feelings are non-sensual feelings, nekama, sita, vedana. In the same way, now you are practicing meditation. When your meditation develops stage by stage, and then that you may feel present feeling. Is it true? Yeah. But this is also non-sensual feeling, Nikama Siddha Vrena. But sometimes meditation is not improved. <coughs> Slowly begin a happy. <laughs> <laughs> Such that the painful feeling is called non-sensual painful feeling. It is not connected with sensual enjoyment. It is connected with only meditation subject. Hmm? In the same way, while you are practicing vipassana also, so that you may feel pleasant feeling, especially when you reach Udiya Vya Jnana space. The knowledge of rising and passing away, or knowledge of rising and dissolution stage. And then the strong powerful happiness usually arises. This is one type of impediment. Why it is called impediment? So there is other day happiness is very strong. Because of this reason you may have attachment to that happiness, such type of happiness. So because of this reason it also began impediment. Really it is not impediment. Really, it is the object of impediment only. The object of the impediment means if you have attachment to that happiness. The happiness is the object of attachment. 
because of this is it is also called embedment only but it is not really embedment but if you have no attachment to that happiness this is not embedment this is natural hmm? in the same way when you are meditating sometimes there may be painful unhappiness feelings hmm? because of your inside knowledge improve slowly or decrease. Because of this reason, so that you may have um, a happy feeling. Oh, today it is not good to meditate. Many wandering minds, huh? I cannot control your, my mind. Huh? In this way you inform. So, at that time you feel a happiness. Such type of happiness is called non-sensual painful feeling. Sometimes, when you are meditating, Neither painful nor pleasant feeling rise. Why? They are straight neutral feelings. Again and again you are practicing. When you are practicing again and again, sometimes occasionally there is no pleasant feeling, no painful feeling, only just neutral. You can maintain your concentration only. Or you can continue your insight only. So because of this reason, sometimes there may be neutral feeling also. Such type of feeling is called non-sexual feeling. In this case, when, when you are going forth, hmm, this is also called renunciation. Hmm. Another is fachana. When you are practicing anabana or any kasina or any samatha meditation object, if you attain fachana, this fachana also called renunciation. Why? It is the main cause <coughs> to escape from the sensual world. <coughs> if you can maintain this jhana up to that moment, then after that, it is sure you will attain Brahma world. You will be reborn in Brahma world because of this jhana. So this jhana also called renunciation because it is the fundamental cause to escape from the sensual world. This is one type. The other jhanas also not called Nikama, renunciation. Others are also called renunciation, but it is include number five or wholesome jhanas. Number five group. So, if you practice immaterial jhanas, you will escape from the five material world also, not only sensual world. If you can maintain this jhana up to that moment, then you will attain in material world. You will be reborn in material world. So it is also renunciation because it is the fundamental cause to escape from the prime material world or sensual world and prime material world. So they are also called renunciation. Hmm? But it is included in the number five group. Hmm? The number two, the number two is Pachana. The number three is Nibbana. Nibbana also renunciation. Why it is called renunciation? It is the main fundamental cause for uh, to escape from the realm of Nibbana. If you realize Nibbana, like part, four part, then four crucial knowledge, then when you begin Raha, One day you will take Pranibana. At the Pranibana time, you will escape from all wrong or rebirths. Why? Because of Nibbana. Taking Nibbana as object, hope but improve knowledge has arise systematically, stage by stage. Hmm? This hope but improve knowledge has realized Nibbana. When you take Pranibana, and then you will attain that, that Nibbana. Before you are taking Pranibbana, you can say you realize Nibbana only. But after when you take Pranibbana, at that time you can say you attain Nibbana. What is Nibbana? <laughs> Maybe there are many controversial points, but the most important huh, fundamental factor is cessation of all suffering. 
พุทธสิทธุขะนิโรธสิทธะทุกขะนิโรธกูบลิสเซสิอมทุกขะพักสทุกขะพักอิกิเกสทีกูบลิสเซสิอมพักอิกิเกสทีสิทธิคนนิพานะพัก There are three types of nirvana. Some meditators they misunderstand about these three types of nirvana. What is about this our Buddha? Hmm? Our Buddha, when he became enlightened one hmm? under the body tree, other than his arahanta knowledge, hmm? that's why all the pilgrims completely without remainder. Complete cessation of the phenomena of Ahusantamas is called Kilesa Pranibana. Cessation of complete cessation of the phenomena. This is also called Kilesa Pranibana. In other words, it is also called Sauba Dicesa Nibana. Sauba Dicesa Nibana means five gigas are still there, but clinging. Five clinging and five gregates are still there, but the final mass is completely without remainder. So, five gregates still remain, but the final mass is completely without remainder. This such type of cessation is also called sa uba disisa nibbana. Nibbana is cessation. Hmm? Number two is. Anubha Dhisi Sat Nibbana. Anubha Dhisi Sat Nibbana is together with five aggregates, all formations cease completely without remainder. This is called Anubha Dhisi Sat Nibbana. That complete cessation is when our Buddha took Mahapri Nibbana. So, under the body tree, when he began enlightened one, there is the phenomenon is completely without remainder. This is Kilesa Pranibana. Forty-five years later, at Kushik Negra, he took Mahapranibana, final cessation. This is called Khanda Pranibana. That Khanda Pranibana, in other words, called Anubha Dhisesa Nibana. Kanda Vrindivana and Anubhadi Seza Nibhana say, Anubhadi Seza is, there is no substrate run. Substrate run means we have five aggregates only. No five aggregates remain. Completely six five aggregates without remainder. This is called Anubhadi Seza Nibhana. But there is another Nibhana. This is Asenkata Nibhana. Unconditioned element. Asenkata Nibhana Tattu. Unconditioned element. That unconditioned element is what is unconditioned element? The object of four part and crucial knowledge. When you when, eh, when you practice with us in system medically, one day when you are inside knowledge becomes mature. At the end of you are inside knowledge. Part knowledge and prosian knowledge will arise. That part knowledge and prosian knowledge realize nibbana. So that nibbana is the object of part and prosian knowledge. That nibbana is unconditioned element. But taking this unconditioned element as a that nibbana, you are part knowledge that's trying to find a man stage by stage completely without remainder. When you begin Rahat, that Rahat but knowledge that's trying the remaining defilements, which lower three but not yet that's right, completely that's right without remainder. So, because of Nibbana, but knowledge can that's right defilements. If but knowledge do, uh, does not realize Nibbana, but knowledge alone cannot that's right, Elements. Because that Nibbana is Asangada, unconditioned element. This Nibbana is very peaceful element. 
Because of this element, but knowledge can satisfy defilements. Complete cessation of defilements is called Kilesa Pranipana. Because of the complete cessation of defilements, all wholesome and unwholesome karmas cannot produce any more result after death, after Pranipana. They are energy to, to produce new existence or exhausted. So that, because of this reason, when the five is completely without remainder, also and unwholesome commas, which have the potentiality <coughs> to produce new rebirth, also cease completely without remainder. <coughs> but, when the because of the complete sensation of the filaments and wholesome and wholesome commas, after pranibana, high aggregates will not arise completely without remainder. This complete cessation of high aggregates is also called Kesa pranibana, Khanda pranibana. So, you can try to see three, three together. Because of the meeting, or because of the realize, path knowledge realized Nibbana. Hmm? This is Asenkata Nibbana, this is the object. When the path knowledge realizes Nibbana, the phenomenon sees. This is Kilesa Nibbana, this is Rasa. <coughs> this unconditioned element, Asenkata Nibbana, which is the object of path and approaching knowledge, this is cause. Then, because of the complete sensation of the phenomenon, all Hosa and Hosa Kamas also sees completely without Omega. They cannot produce any new existence. Because of this is of the Pranibana, high aggregates cease completely without Omega. This complete sensation of high aggregates is called Kilisa Pranibana. This is also a result or effect. Hmm? Here, as you get Unconditioned element, which is the object of what knowledge and approaching knowledge, this is cause. So, Kilesa Brinivana is effect, Khanda Brinivana is effect, or Sauba Dissesa Nivana is effect, Anuba Dissesa Nivana also effect. What is this Sauba Dissesa Nivana? This is only just cessation of complete cessation of the phenomena only. Kilesa Vrinivana is complete cessation of the violence only. Saubadi says that Nivana also complete cessation of the violence only. Yes, loving. Lovingness of the violence. Kile uh, Kana Vrinivana or Nubadi says that Nivana is complete cessation of five gigas only. Lovingness of five gigas only. But here, the object of but in approaching knowledge, which is Asangata Nibbana, this is always permanent. So you should distinguish these three. This Asangata Nibbana is also for renunciation. Why? This is main cause to escape from the Rhone of Nibbana. So, when you are meditating, <coughs> one day if you realize Nibbana, and then day, there may be pleasant feeling. That pleasant feeling is also called non-sensual pleasant feeling. Nikama Siddha Virana. But sometimes you may have a pleasant feeling. Why? You try to realize Nibbana to end uh, approaching attainment again. But you cannot do <laughs> according to your own desire. Huh? So at that time maybe because of the lack of your uh, knowledge, eh? you may become a happiness. Such type of happiness also called non-sensual painful feeling. But sometimes there may be neither painful nor pleasant feeling also there may be. Eh? So they are taking Nibbana as object, three types of feeling. In the same way, we must not. Number, number one is going for Number two is Pajana. Number three is Nibbana. Number four is Vipassana. While you are practicing Vipassana, 
if you get no <laughs> suppose you are practicing four limits of meditation when you see what form oh you begin to be oh it is true <laughs> when your concentration develops further you can see white form the whole body begin white it is true you may feel happiness this is also non-sensual pleasant here again if you get this four limits in that white form and then if you can concentrate on that four elements object of what form, then when you are concentrating to develop further, you, can, you will see the whole body begin transparent body, like ice block. Oh, it is true. Fine. Put that dot, white basada rupa, transparent elements. Jaku basada, I transparent element. Soda basada, ear transparent element. Kana basada, notes transparent element. Chema basada, tan transparent element, body, gaya basada, body transparent element. These five transparent elements as a group, before you are break down, you cannot break down the compactness, and then you may see as a group, as a solid only. Then you will see this transparent body. That transparent is like mirror. This is mentioned in Vishwati Mandra, eh? the path of purification. Because of this, the Buddha gave one name, Pasada Rupa. Pasada Rupa is transparent body only, transparent Rupa, transparent matter. This five transparent matter as a group you are seeing at that time. But again, if you try to discern four elements in that transparent body, when you are concentrating, it develops further. That transparent body will emit such strong, powerful, radiant lights. At that time, with the assistance of that light, if you focus space agasa, huh? then when you see agasa, then you will see small particles, kalabas. When you see kalabas, again, you must try to desa four elements in each kalabas. This is the beginning stage of Vipassana as well as the last stage of Samatha meditation, four elements meditation. When you get, when, if you can take some four elements in each kalabha, then you will be, you will feel happy. <laughs> Why? It is very true. Buddha says this kalabha, Buddha taught this argument materiality. Now I can see this ultimate validity other than heavy feeling will arise. This type of heavy feeling is called non-sensual pleasant feeling. But sometimes you are analyzing these kalabas. You cannot easily understand ultimate materiality. Uh, very difficult. They are as well as they rise the bus way. Very, very quickly, how oh, I can discern this four elements? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then you may feel a happiness. <laughs> this is non-sensual, painful fear. <laughs> uh, sometimes, oh, you can discern easily, no problem. So, again, again, if you are discern, again, again, you may understand these four elements in each club. And then, neither. Painful, no pleasant feeling also may arise. Hmm? So three types of Vedana feeling. This is called non-sensual feeling, Nikama Sita Vedana, depending on Vipassana, but not finished. Nowadays, there are many meditators, they believe Savagas. Savagas and Buddha's disciples are called Savagas. Savagas cannot see this Kalabas. Saugas cannot analyze this kalabas. Saugas cannot discern this ultimate materiality they believe. Then you may, you should consider carefully. Buddha taught ultimate materiality. And Buddha's body also this ultimate materiality. And Saugas body, there's also ultimate materiality. Only this materiality Rupa Buddha taught. No other material in Buddha never taught any other material. In the same way, Buddha taught ultimate mentality, only just mentality. I do cognitive process, ear do, nose do, tongue do, body do, mind do, cognitive process. 
Six type of community process for that dog. Okay. Uh, for all the free consciousness, this is Bohenga expression. Part consciousness, Bohenga consciousness, and that consciousness. This is a process free consciousness. This is also Buddha thought. Buddha never does any other mentality. <laughs> I know such and such mentality. So God, the disciples know such and such mentality. He didn't never did differentiate. So within 45 years, Buddha thought this Adime mentality, this Adime mentality. He never taught any other mentality, any other materiality. If Savagas cannot penetrate this ultimate materiality and mentality, which mentality, materiality they must try to understand? You should consider Gaya Buddha. Buddha taught this, type, this ultimate mentality and materiality. He fulfilled Paramini. To preach Dhamma or to talk his full over to all. He himself tried to understand full over to by his direct knowledge. After he had already understood hmm, these full over truths, other than that only he showed the path leading to understand full over to all. If Buddha's teaching is not the object of Savanga. Then Savanga can see which Dhamma, which Rupa, which Madhidani, which Madhidani. In other words, we can say, Buddha Abhiya in this world. And the, he taught Adimit Madhidani, Madhidani. But Savanga cannot understand his Adimit Madhidani, Madhidani. He alone understand his Madhidani, and this Madhidani and Madhidani. Then what is beneficial to Savagas? Hmm? So there's no benefit, Buddha Abhya in this world, there's no benefit to human world, to human kind. Because his teaching, Savagas cannot understand. What is benefit? So you should consider carefully this fact. Buddha teach the Dhamma for Savagas only. It is not necessary to teach Dhamma to for himself. Is it necessary? <laughs> because he already enlightened one, already began enlightened one. It is not necessary to teach Dhamma for himself. He teach this follower to for some gods only, for disciples. So if <laughs> his teaching by some gods cannot understand, what is the beneficial to humankind for his bearing? Hmm? So you should consider carefully. Hmm? So, when you are bright days and we pass now, if you can get some argument mentality in this way, other, other than also you may feel pleasant, happy feeling, or uh, mm -hmm. uh, pleasant, pleasure mm -hmm. feeling, hmm? pleasant feeling, or painful feeling, or neither painful nor pleasant feeling in the same way. But another is dependent origination. Mm -hmm. Now, it is many meditation teachers says, hmm? You must contemplate only present, not past and future. Past is finished, present is not, uh, future is not yet coming. So it is not necessary to contemplate past and future. Without understanding past causes, without understanding present causes, without understanding future causes, without understanding past effect, present effect, and future effect, how you can understand past and uh, cause and effect? was a relationship between cause and effect. So, present five aggregates are produced by previous causes. Hmm? Ignorance, craving, clinging, original formations, and coming force. Because of these five causes, present five aggregates appear. If you do not contemplate, or if you do not discern past causes, how you can understand past causes produce present effect? If you do not discern future fact aggregates, how you can understand present causes will produce future effect. So, without understanding dependent origination, 
there is no one who can escape from this round of rebirth, even in a dream. <laughs> this is mentioned in Visoni Manga commentary as well as Samoha Vinyodini commentary. Quoting Buddha's passage, Imhadinana Sogda Buddha explained in this way. So Imhadinana Sogda Buddha says, without understanding the dependent origination by Anuvada Jnana and Padivada Jnana, you cannot escape from the Rauna Rupa. In this way, Buddha gradually explained to the Anuvada Ananda. What is Anuvada Jnana? What is Padivada Jnana? In this case, Anuvada Jnana means Nama Rupa Vrichida Jnana and Picha Vrigha Jnana. Nama Rupa Vrichida Jnana means analyzing Adimit Mandalaji and Madhiriyaladi. Picha Vrigha Jnana means discerning cause and effect only. Especially dependent origination. So this is uh, called Anuvada Jnana. Padiveda Jnana is all we must know is knowledge. So, if you do not understand this dependent origination by Anuvada Jnana and Padiveda Jnana, you cannot escape from the Rauna Rupa. You cannot escape from the woeful states. In this way, Buddha taught in Mahanidana Sutta. Mahanidana Sutta is in Diga Nikaya. Hmm? So, because of this reason, quoting this passage, commentaries explain, without understanding the dependent origination, there is no one who escaped from the non of river, even, even in a dream. In this way, they, they explain. So, because of this reason, if you want to escape from the round of rebirth, second important factor is dependent origination. You must try to understand dependent origination by different types of vipassana insight. Because Avijja, what is Avijja? Ignorance. Avijja, ignorance cannot rise alone. Always it arises with associated mental formations. Maybe Nova Deity Group, hmm? Sister Susila is playing for the mental fantasy. They arise together. These mental fantasies are mentality only. You must discern this mentality first. They arise depending on their own respective pace, especially heart pace. If you get some heart, then you can see there are different types of calabas. If you analyze this calabas, then you can see ultimate materiality. This ultimate, this ultimate, ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality only. In the same way, volitional formations. There are 34 mental formations, hmm? maybe 34 years study also explained. Hmm? These 34 mental formations are called volitional formations. They also arise dependent on their base. So base is nothing but ultimate materiality. And then this study of mental formations are ultimate materiality. So there is ultimate materiality materiality only. So you must try to discern this ultimate materiality materiality. This is Nama Rupa Brichita Jnana. Huh? Analyzing ultimate materiality and materiality. Another word, this is Nubodha Jnana. Nubodha Jnana means uh, adaptability for higher insight knowledge. Um, adaptability knowledge for higher insight knowledge. Um. So this this is one type of Nubodha Jnana. In the same way, when you get some this ultimate mentality, then again you must discern in the present high aggregates. You should try to see the good relationship between cause and effect. This is Smuria Siddha. Huh? If you understand, then this is Smuria Siddha. This is Picha Vrega Jnana, discerning cause and mm, effect. This is also one type of new order Jnana. Mm. This two ultimate mentality, materiality, and their causes are called formations. In other words, they are Dhoka Siddha and Surya Siddha Tamas. These are the object of Vipassana. You must contemplate them as nature Dhoka Nanda. 
Other than dying, you are inside knowledge will increase uh, stage by stage, develop stage by stage. If you write a stage by stage, one day when you are inside beginning which you are, then part of information knowledge will arise, taken nibbana as object. So when you are writing this in Vipassana, sometimes you may feel present feeling, sometimes you may feel painful feeling, sometimes you may feel neither painful nor pleasant feeling. So this, they are also called nikama. Why? Renunciation, nikama, renunciation. Why they are called renunciation? They are fundamental cause. They can, and this inside knowledge can suppress the phenomena temporarily. So they are main cause to escape from the, the phenomena. So they are also called renunciation. Another is all hosts and dhammas. Among hosts and dhammas, the remaining jhana dhammas also include observing sila, uh, generosity, jhana, sila, all include. Hmm? Before jhana stage, you must practice the same thing. Before jhana stage, there are also hosts and dhammas, they are also include. All hosts and dhammas are also Nikama, renunciation. Why? They are the main cause to escape from the unwholesome dhammas. Among unwholesome dhammas, the are main fundamental factors. When you bring this systematically, when you accumulate wholesome dhammas huh? systematically, one day when you realize the banana, by part in approaching knowledge. That part in approaching knowledge will destroy all the phenomena or all a whole sentiments. So because of this reason, all whole sentiments, including Dana, Sila, Bhavana, hmm? all are also renunciation, they come up. They are main causes to escape from the a whole sentiments. Dana also one cause to escape the phenomenon. How? Oh. Do you understand? If you donate something, for example, this, hmm? this one, you donate. Before donation, you may have a little bit attachment to this. But when you are donate, donation finished, other than you have no attachment to this property. Is it true? Yes, this is one cause to escape from attachment. In the same way, if you donate something, you have no attachment to this requisite. So this is escaping from attachment. So because of this reason, China also one cause to escape from attachment, from the final mess. In the same way, see that you do not care. Because of this reason, desire to keep nothing. You escape from the desire to keep others. So this is escaping from a whole sentiment. You never still do any and do others properly. Hmm? So this is also one cause to escape from the phenomena. So sila also one cause to escape from the different types of phenomena. So they are also called renunciation. So, in the same way, Samadha Shana is also one cause to escape from the final mess. Vipassana also one cause to, to escape from the final mess. Nibbana also fundamental cause to escape from the final mess. So because of this, they are called renunciation. While you are accumulating this high test of renunciation, there hmm? may be sometimes uh, pleasure feeling, pleasant feeling. You may feel pleasant feeling. Sometimes you may feel painful feeling, unhappiness. Sometimes you may feel neither painful nor pleasant feeling. But if they are based on renunciation, nikama, painful feeling also you should accumulate. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there is one story, famous story. Hmm? Commentary mentions one story about Mahasiva Thira. 
Mahasiva Thera is he is the leader of 18 sects in Sri Lanka. 18 sects, sects, he translates Nikaya sects. Hmm? He teaches, he can recite three Pitakas hmm. together with commentaries, memorize or hmm, learning by heart. Three Pitakas known for the two books. Uh, commentary. 16 books, very big books. He can orally memorize this all together. Hmm? He teaches them up. There are 60,000 disciples, his 60,000 disciples speaking Rahat. But he is still a watering person to do hmm. <laughs> So one day, one of his disciples, who is Rahat, visit to him. Hmm? Ask him to meditate. Because of sense of spiritual agency, some we got. He agreed hmm, to meditate hmm, without telling any disciple. He went to a forest. Then he meditated there with the intention. I can be got arahat within few days. With such intention, he meditated diligently before rain's retreat was set. But within one week, he cannot attain any achievement. So he decided to continue within race retreat three months hmm, to attain hardship. But at the end of hmm, race retreat, he cannot attain any achievement. He cried. <laughs> <laughs> Tears are coming up. Then again, he asked himself to himself, next race retreat, full Monday, at the end of full Monday, I will be got rahat. Then he tried hard, diligently, but he cannot be got rahat. At the end of race retreat, again. Okay. Then again he cried. In this way, 13 years, not two months. <laughs> 13 years he tried hard. 13 years he tried hard. 13 years, huh? Every at the end of race retreat, he cried. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but all that full model, hmm? while my dying, while he is crying, <laughs> at, the, at the corner of his walking path, there's one tree, one diva, who stayed in that tree also crying on the corner of walking path. So that day, there's no one who cried there. He checked and he asked, Who are you? Oh, I'm in the Jeeva who stay in this tree. Why are you crying? I think if I'm crying, I may add any part in two things. At that time, he got a lot of sense of possibility your agency. Oh, see what? Devas are also making joke to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you should try hard. So in, uh, at that night, he try hard. Hmm? He did some ultimate mentality, meditation in their process, and he contemplated it as the chapter of another. Then, before dawn, 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 before dawn, he began to hard at that time. So, that such type of painful feeling and happiness also, you should contemplate. Why? It is the main cause hmm, to meditate intelligently. Because of this reason, such a type of painful feeling or unhappiness feeling also, you can cultivate. So you should cry. <laughs> but not yet finished. Hmm? Not yet finished means, but when you are discerning this hmm, all together, Nine types of feeling. Feeling alone, not enough. Hmm? The feeling always arises with associated mental formations. You should try to discern these associated mental formations also. But these associated mental formations always arise according to cognitive process. We call it up with it. Hmm? You must discern these 
painful feelings, eh? according to this, this cognitive process. Mm -hmm. If you desire only feeling, not desire associated mental formations, this is not enough. Not enough means you cannot break down three times, four types of competence. For example, hmm? now Mahasiva Thira, he is not yet successful. Hmm? Because of this reason, he cried. At that time, painful feeling appears. That painful feeling is right according to cognitive process. Which type of cognitive process? Especially this is Mahindu cognitive process. He tried hard Samatha Vipassana. He understand ultimate mentality, materiality, and their causes as an Ichatuka Ananda. It is true. But his inside knowledge yet not yet become Vijuva. Because of this reason, taking his inside knowledge as object, he feels a happiness. This is mind or cognitive process. That mind or cognitive, mind or advancing consciousness. In that mind or advancing consciousness moment, there are 12 mental patterns. Hmm? Number one, consciousness. Number two, contact. Number three, feeling. Number four, perception. Number five, volition. Then number six, uh, addition. Number seven, one pointed next. Number eight, life faculty to be that. Hmm? This is all together eight. Another uh, we take uh, initial application of the mind to the object. Which are a sustained application of the mind to the object and the adimaka decision. All together, this 12, huh? uh, 11, together with consciousness, uh, uh, and number three is Uriya, another one is Uriya, Alpha Energy, all together 12. Huh? These 12 mental factors are in mind and body moment, but in Chavana moment, seven and Balachi moment, they are usually 18 mental factors. Eighteen mineral feathers, these twelve, then, uh, desire, yeah. chanda, hmm? and then, delusion, moha, hiriga, shamelessness, no uh, fearlessness, hmm? odisha, restlessness, and then dosa. That dosa is not anger. This is a heaviness only. Hmm? Dosa. Then, okay, all together, 18. These 18 are right together. If you cannot discern this 18, then you cannot break down the combativeness. There are four types of combativeness. Here, mind and body consciousness, first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana, up to seven. If you do not see moment by moment, then you cannot break down the compactness of series, Santati Gana. Mm -hmm. Then if you can see moment by moment, then you must try to see the mind or body moment, there are 12 mental factors. In Jhana, my moment, there are 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 in this way. If you cannot see this 80, if you see as a one, then we can say you cannot co break down the compactness of group, Samuha Although if you can discern this one by one, if you can break down compactness of group, but there may be different functions. In each mental pattern, they have different functions. If you cannot of group, Kachagana, the compactness of function. In the same way, when you are uh, when you are discerning this hmm, mind or co cognitive process, that inside knowledge also has three types of competence. Same. If you can break down three types of competence, it is called Aramana. You can break down the competence of the object. Hmm? Uh, Aramana. Hmm? So, both all together, they are four, four types of competence. These four types of competence, you should try to break down. And then only you can understand ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality. So, 
Without understanding in this way, ultimate majority and ultimate majority and their causes, then you cannot go with Vipassana directly. If you go to Vipassana, then your Vipassana will be only just superficial, not real Vipassana, because you do not understand ultimate mentality, ultimate material and their causes. Because this ultimate mentality, ultimate material and their causes are the object of Vipassana. So because of this, the Buddha continue his tomato. It is a Dhamma, Kari, Kaya, Nupasi, we hear it. It is a Dhamma, we are now this is the meaning is together with Virina you must desire ultimate mentality immediately internally and externally both. Then Smuria Damanu Basi wa Virinasu we heard it. We are the man who passes you over us, we heard it. Somebody are we are the man who passes you over us, we heard it. This is you must descend, causal arising in momentary rising of Virna in ultimate mentality immediately, together with Virna. Causal passing away in momentary passing away of this formation. This is because of the arising of causes. All ultimate mentality, materiality, together with virna, arise. Because of the complete cessation of causes, all ultimate mentality, materiality, and together with virna, cease completely with the coming up. Hmm? I have explained before this. Hmm? Because of the past causes, hmm? wager, ignorance, craving, tana, uh, upadana, Sankara formations, and polishing formations, and karmic force, karma. Because of these five causes, rather than five aggregates, including Virna, arise. But because of the complete cessation of these five aggregates, the five causes, the five aggregates also will cease completely without Omega. When these five causes will cease completely without Omega, when you be Raha only. Now you are not yet being Raha. You are now trying only with Vipassana. At that time, you should try to see this complete cessation, two types of complete cessation, when you add it hardship. So this cannot be present, this can be future only. Because one day you will add it hardship if you practice systematically. At that time, all five causes will cease completely without Omega. Because of this complete cessation of causes, after Vrini Vanda, five aggregates will cease completely without Omega. This complete cessation is only future, not present. If you cannot discern past, you cannot understand the present origination. If you cannot discern future, you cannot understand complete cessation. Okay? So, Dem Hasri Vanda, so the Buddha explained, you must discern because of the origin of causes, five aggregates arise. Again, because of the complete cessation of causes, I will cease completely without Omega. So this is Hoya Dhamma Nubasi. So in this way, Buddha taught, Samudhya Dhamma Nubasi wa Urinasu Viharadi. Hoya Dhamma Nubasi wa Urinasu Viharadi. Samudhya Hoya Dhamma Nubasi wa Urinasu Viharadi. If you, in this way, if you try, then you must also contemplate the cause also nature. Effect also nature. The causes are also dhoka. Effects are also dhoka. The causes are also another. The effects are also another. You must contemplate them as nature dhoka another. Because cause as well as effect, five aggregate, as soon as they rise, they pass away. This is momentary rising and passing away. Seeing this momentary rising and passing away, you must contemplate them as nature dhoka another. And that, that only you are inside knowledge because Vajiva. When you are inside knowledge become Vajiva, one day you may attain part in fruition knowledge. That part in fruition knowledge will realize Nibbana. If you get practice again, again, then one day you may attain Rasya. And then you are Rasya, but knowledge will destroy all the finalness. If your divine may cease completely without a you are 
Hosa and Ahosa Kamas cannot produce new existence. At the day, you will escape from the throne of your heart. Mm -hmm. So after that state, Anisi Dacha we heard it. He advised independent not going into anything in this world. Because he began to have, he has no craving for him to attach anything. So in this way, you go back with Beku, will not so, will not do what you heard it. Because in this way, a Beku contemplate. Gurina as Gurina. This is Gurina Dupasa. Okay, any question? <laughs> no question? <laughs> so, say the the factors that are discerning this mentality, okay. this arising and passing away, discerning yeah. and then seeing anicca, dukkha, anatta. Yeah. These, these factors, these are the factors of enlightenment, the sati, the, the different yes, factors. Yes, yes. there are the four mental factors in your insight knowledge. Among the four, in other words, we can say 37, Body Pratya Atamas, hmm? Enlightenment Pratyas. Tani four mental Pratyas and Tani seven Body Pratya Atamas, they are same. Same means, among Tani four mental Pratyas, they are sati. That sati is called positive sati dhana. They are swariya. That effa is potas of sama brana. There is chanda. That chanda is about Chandegi Bhada, one type of accomplishment. There is Uriya energy. This is also one type of accomplishment. Uriya Di Bhada. There is consciousness. This is also one type of accomplishment. Chandegi Bhada. There is wisdom faculty. The wisdom faculty is also one type of accomplishment. So, Pope Edi Bhada is also included in this very moment of information. High controlling faculties. Sada, confidence, Uriya, effort, Sadi, mindfulness, Samadhi, concentration, Pinya, wisdom faculty also include. Because this wisdom faculty, Anasa, ultimate mentality, material, and their causes as an to Karnata. So clearly they see. So among these study four, five controlling faculties are also present. When these five controlling faculties begin power, they are also, also called five power. So five power also include. And there is sati mindfulness. This is the enlightenment factor of mindfulness. Sati Samojanka. There is wisdom faculty. That wisdom faculty is called Kama Vichya Samojanka. Enlightenment factor of investigation. Why? That wisdom faculty investigate this is nature, this is rupa, this is nama, this is cause, this is effect, this is nature, this is dukkha, this is anatta. In this way, at the time, he investigate. So that investigation factor, enlightenment factor also include. Kama vichya, uriya, there is also still effect. Sati, there is also still mindfulness. Then there is also samadhi ekagada. There is also pasadi. Uh, tranquility of mind. Hmm? Uh, there is also PD culture. Hmm? So all there is also Tadra Mijadada, equanimous mind. Tadra Mijadada, middle of the So seven enlightenment factors also include. Hmm? In the same way, there is also Nova Epulpa, Samadhi, right view. And then uh, we must not inside and understand this is Rupa, this is Nama. This is cause, this is effect, this is nature, this is yoga, this is another. So samadhi is also present. Obligation, some think of obligation of the mind to the object. That some think of so that's applying the mind to the rupa object, so that's to nama object, so that's cause, so that's effect, so that's nature, so that's yoga, so that's another. It's together with samadhi. The other day, Samawacha, right speech, Samagamanda, right action, Sama 
Ajiva, right, lovely food. These three are also present. Fine. Now you are meditating. Every morning you are taking Oza. Hmm? O, uh, sila. Hmm? This is observation. Hmm? At the time you are abstaining from wrong speech, wrong action, wrong meditation. So they are always present when you are meditating. So these three are also present. Then there is Samawayama, this is right, effort, Buriya. Samasadik, right, mindfulness. Samasmadik, right, consistency. Double effort are also included in this bloody form of Dharma Pagas. So, if you can again contemplate this inside knowledge, at the time, you can, we can say, you can see, that the seven enlightenment factors, polygraphy at the mass. Or noble effort. We can say four Siddhi Prana, no? four Dice of Siddhi Prana, four Dice of Sama Prana, all are included. So if you, this is the object, Adhima, Medina, Medina, India, Cortex, you must contemplate it as Nietzsche to the another. That inside knowledge also, again, you must mm -hmm. contemplate as Nietzsche to the another. And then, then you will understand both sides. No question? <laughs> if there is no question, today let us stop. Sharing the record. Ida me punya, Ida me punya, Asawan kaya, Asawan kaya, Oha hodu, Oha hodu, Ida me punya, Ida me punya, Niba nasa, Niba nasa, Pachayo, Pachayo, Hodu, Hodu, Ida me punya, Sabha Sadhana, Sabha Sadhana, Vajima, Vajima, Kisabe, Kisabe, Mesama, Mesama, Punya Baga, Punya Baga, Lavandu, Lavandu, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.